Now, Nigeria's House of Representatives has called on the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Rabadu, to coordinate all activities that will lead to the rescue of abducted school children and their teachers in Kuriga, Kaduna State. The parliament also seeks an end to banditry attacks in parts of Benue State and recurring armed robbery cases in Ayingba, Kogi State. National Assembly correspondent Joki Adisa has details. In the past weeks, bandits have intensified attacks on innocent citizens, including pupils, students, and women abducted in large numbers. May their sorrows in peace. Kaduna State <laughs> Member <laughs> Hamid Munir Second, demands the immediate and unconditional freedom of the more than 200 children kidnapped in Kuriga. The House resolves to mandate the Office of the National Security Advisor to coordinate and galvanize all security and intelligence networks to bring back our students. In Benue and Kogi states, the house seeks an end to acts of banditry and armed robbery. Rodin bandits have built up the resilience, capacity, and courage to go into communities, kill and burn down villages without any security challenge. The very attack was tagged the mother of all robbery was experienced as they came in their large numbers with bombs and other sophisticated assaulted rifles. The House is set to amend Section 327 of the Criminal Code Act to conform with the provisions of the Mental Health Act, which provides psychological counseling for anyone who attempts suicide instead of one year jail term. We cannot allow the courts to have two sets of laws to apply one in, in uh, case A and the other law in case B. The parliament called the on the Central Bank of Nigeria to restrain commercial banks from holding funds reversal beyond prescribed dates. The House resolves to urge the Central Bank of Nigeria to direct banks to work on their systems in mitigating failed transactions and immense, immediately reverse failed transactions within the customer's prompting. Nigeria is moving closer to having a mining development bank in Balance an effort to achieve in the honor of the departed soul. agenda. Embedded within this legislative framework is a profound commitment to responsible resource exploitation, epitomized by the incorporation of objectives geared towards fostering sustainable development within the mining sector. The Minister of Trade and Investment, Doris Uzoka Anite, is expected to grace the first edition of a weekly ministerial briefing to be hosted by the House on Thursday. The session is in furtherance of the lawmakers' determination to hold the executive accountable to the people. Jokia Edson, TVC News, Abuja.